Hi, I'm David the Bruce. This is the Libre Film Fest, and today we have a very special film to show you. It's called The Flapper. It's from 1920, and it stars one of the most significant actresses of her time. She did all kinds of films in just a few years. This film was released in 1920, and she died in 1920. It became the most scandalous story in early Hollywood history. In fact, it is the first Hollywood scandal ever. Was she poisoned or was it unintentional suicide? Ooh, boy, I tell you, it was something else. But I didn't really want to talk about that. I'm going to cover that in another little documentary that I want to do on Olive Thomas. I'm doing one on the Ziegfeld Follies, of which she was. Yes, she was a Ziegfeld Folly in her earlier part of her career. And she was part of the Midnight Frolic. That was the more uh, salacious of the um, shows that Ziegfeld put on. It came on after Midnight. Midnight Frolic. And um, not for the family crowd, you might say. And boy, she was a sensation when she came out with the flapper. Now, mind you, 1920 was the beginning of the flapper generation. The flappers came around uh, right after World War I. And um, there were some precursors before the war. But right after the World War I is when they begin to slowly emerge. There had been this great big flu epidemic that took so many lives. And the soldiers coming back from the war were often maimed or dead. And so there was a, a feeling that, you know, life was short, so you might as well live it for all you can. And so the corsets came off and the miniskirts went on and flappers, yeah. Now, the word flapper um, really has quite a um, history behind it. What exactly is the flapper? Well, in the 1600s, 1700s, a flap was a teenage prostitute, you know, a girl of loose morals. <laughs> and uh, some say that was the beginning. Others say, well, it's because their, their hair flapped. It, 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 you know, they didn't put it up like they had done in the Victorian era. Their hair was down, yeah. Well, anyways, whatever the, um, whatever the origin of the word flapper was, it was highly popularized and highly popularized uh, by a woman by the name of Frances Marion. Now, Frances Marion was a very famous screenwriter, producer, director in early Hollywood, um, probably the most significant um, screenwriter of the 20th century as far as women go. And uh, she wrote it, and she called it the flapper. She is responsible for the popularity of the term flapper. Now you got to know that this film was produced in 1920, not towards the end of the 1920s, 1929, etc., when the flapper kind of disappeared with the great crash. But uh, this was the beginning, so this was kind of defining what a flapper was. And um, the flapper, in this case, um, <clears throat> pushing the norms of the culture, well, <laughs> believe it or not, in this film it shows how just having an innocent soda, you know, uh, a, a drugstore beverage, a soda, uh, in a drugstore would cause a scandal, and it did. And, and so our hero gets sent off to a private girls' school up in New York to finish her education so her dad could keep her safe from boys who drink soda. Yep, it was a thing then. <laughs> yeah, you know, if you drink a soda, it might lead to other things, you know, <laughs> especially if you're drinking with the opposite sex, you know. Well, anyways, mixed company, mm, unshopperound, mm, yeah, well, today we wouldn't even think anything of it. Olive Thomas, an amazing, I just want to get back to her, uh, j just a delightful gal, a trendsetter, as you will see here. This was the example that young women looked to. She was it. And uh, I did tell you she had a scandalous death, but I won't go into that, but I did want to say that the death was of such a nature that legends uh, grew up around her death. And to this day, in the new Amsterdam Theater in New York, people claim that they see her ghost, that she appears, that she haunts the building. 
some pretty interesting and somewhat credible sightings of Olive Thomas in New York. So there you go. Now I want to tell you a little bit about what I've done to this film. I've added the music. It was a silent film. Silent means no soundtrack. So I added the music myself. I'm so excited. And I've tried to really do it with the music of the time, not by adding too much other kind of music, a little bit here and there. And of course I've added sound effects, but I really wanted it to be uh, connected to the time in which it was made, 1920s. So uh, bear that in mind. It's just tragic. She uh, only did three more screen appearances before she died the same year that this was released. Enjoy. This is quite a ride. And it's quite an eye-opener in terms of what was considered okay and what was considered scandalous at the time of, beginning of the time of, The Flappers. I'm David the Bruce. <laughs>
to Susan, get ready my style. The time we're losing is driving me wild. Everybody's gone, let us move along no more. Hesitating, call the rigid weight and be service. <laughs>
Thank you.